Welcome to the Simulate Getting Started series. We'll be guiding you through some of the key features as you create your first simulation. When you log in, you'll see the welcome area. Here you can start a new simulation, you can upload existing simulation or files, and you can create and access your project folders. You'll also find helpful links to our support resources. Let's dive in by opening up the simulation you'll be building over the next few videos. Our simulation will model customers using different services in a bank. By building the simulation, we'll be able to find out which activity has the longest waiting time. And if there's anything we can do to minimize this. Don't worry if this example doesn't match the process you will be modeling with Simulate. The aim of this video series is to show you the basics to quickly start building your own simulation. Okay, let's create our simulation from scratch by returning to the welcome area and creating a blank simulation. First, let's do a quick tour around the ribbon area. At the top of the screen, we have our quick access buttons. These are always visible no matter what tab you currently have selected. On the home tab, you'll see the play, reset, and set buttons that are used to run simulations. This is also where you can set the run speed of your simulation and change the results collection periods. The build tab is where you add data to your simulation and set the rules that your model follows. The design tab allows you to add things like images, shapes, text, and charts to your simulation. The Visual Logic tab is where you can access Simulate's own simulation language. This feature enables you to control any aspect of your simulation through the use of code. And finally, the Integrate tab is where you can find tools to help you integrate your simulation with your tech stack. Now you're familiar with the ribbon, let's start building our bank. You can access Simulate's building blocks from the left of the screen. We'll use these blocks to build the first steps of our simulation. Let's start by dragging a start point onto the simulation. The start point is where our work items, customers in this example, arrive into the simulation. Next, let's add a queue. The queue is where our customers wait before being seen by a teller. Next, let's add the teller activity. And once our customers have been seen by the teller, they'll leave the bank through the endpoint. As the model runs, you'll see the clock running through hours, days, and weeks. With the fastest simulation engine on the market, Simulate allows you to simulate years of your process within a matter of minutes. By double-clicking on the clock, you can set properties like the simulation time units, the time format, and how long a day lasts in your model. Okay, so we've already built the basics of our bank. Next, we'll start adding some detail to make the simulation more like the real-life process.